Hey guys, welcome back to Average Mics, and today we're gonna put this cool little Smithsonian engine together. What is up guys, before we start this video, I am proud to announce that we just opened up our new merch store. It's teespring.com forward slash stores forward slash average mic. The link will be in the description below and it'll also be up here if it lets me. At that link, you will find cool memorabilia like this one I'm wearing here. T-shirts, hoodies, coffee mugs, blankets, water bottles, all different colors, all different sizes. So please go ahead and consider taking a look Support your, your boys here, uh, help our channel grow, and also get some cool merch while you're at it. But for now, let's go ahead and continue with our video. Hey guys, welcome back to Average Mics. And like I said, today we are going to be putting this motor together that you got for your birthday, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I figured since we uh, just got done working on a real engine, we can, me and uh, Michael here can put this together. Uh, it looks pretty cool. He got it for his birthday from his aunt, and uh, we're gonna, we're gonna see what what it looks like. Put it, put it together. All right. So, like I said, this is the Smithsonian Motor Works. Uh, it's supposed to be like a clear, real live. You build it yourself. Engine uh, eight eight plus, I think. Includes battery operated parts and lights. It has valves, valves, rocks, spark plugs, fire and pistons, crank. Pistons drive crankshaft. Build a working model of a four cylinder engine. So, all right, let's open it up. But you got all these parts here. Okay, so it looks like we're doing, we're assembling the pistons. So, Be able to hold this. Oh, be able to hold this, I guess, and spin it. And they should say, no, 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 spin. And they should, yeah. Mount the oil pan onto the lower housing. All right, so this is the oil pan. Okay. Huh? It's where the oil sits. Like when you put oil on the engine goes to the bottom right so the engine will go the oil will go in the top and it goes to sits in the bottom there's an actual oil we're putting in. i don't think so oh, number seven install the piston crankshaft assembly in the cylinder block P position the piston crankshaft assembly in the cylinder block as shown in the drawing carefully insert four piston heads into the respective cylinders in the cylinder block this is the cylinder block okay they go in it, yeah, but hold on, let me see, hold on, I'll make sure we put it the right way. Oh, I see it. It pushes like an engine. Mm -hmm. So there are four exhaust valves. All the valves are in. Valve do? springs. Daddy, I think I found what we're supposed to do. Put it what? on here. Nope. Mount the rocker arms on the rocker shaft. Alright, so here is our completed crank shaft. See all the pistons, you turn them, it's pretty cool, isn't it? See the pistons go up and down? We have our rocker arm assembly. And we also have our valves, intake and exhaust valves installed. All pretty cool, they all seal on the bottom. Now I think what's going to end up happening is 
This is going to go... Oh, maybe not. I'm wrong. Maybe I should just wait and see. Uh, what we're going to do, we have a intake... Or a... Uh, still in the head gasket. It's going to go probably up here, but let's follow the instructions and see what we got. Camshaft installed. This is the part that we replaced in the, in the daddy's engine. All right, upper cylinder head. Bigger. Well, yeah, but and it also like like this is half of a cylinder head. Like this is all in, in daddy's engine. This is all one piece. This piece and this piece, they split it in half. So when you have it on here, you can't. You have to take you take it out the front and then slide out the front. Now if you turn this, see how it pushes all, all of them down? But then you need something here, right? You need something that attaches to here and attaches to here so they both turn at the same time. Alright, so we need to find the timing gear. This is it here. So this slides on the end of here. This is no. You have to make sure on an engine that this is lined up perfectly with this, so that they all because it all has to work together, right? If this is off a little bit when you put the chain on, it's not. It's going to mess up the motor. So it has to be perfect like this. What we had to do on mine was just. There was a hole on this, just like this one. See how this one has a hole on the bottom? There's a little dot on mine for an, on the bottom one, and there's a dot on the top one, and they both have to be at the same spot. Now, if you turn this, they all go together, see? Everything's moving. Yeah. Alright, so now, install the water pump. What's a water pump? The water pump, the water pump has to circulate water through the engine that makes it stay, don't overheat. You know what I'm saying? So this pump makes the engine not overheat. So it squirts water? It pumps the water. So like there's a hose that goes in, right? And the, and the water goes in and this pumps it and it goes all through the engine so that way it stays cool. All right, so we had to mount our distributor here, and this all lights up. If you could see in the video, what we're trying to do is, they're telling me that this cylinder right here is number one, so we want to make sure it's the top dead center, which it is there. And the top dead center, you want to make sure this distributor mounted has spark plug number one lit up, which it does. So now we can continue on with wiring this up. Alright, 
there we have it, a functioning motor. Kind of get you up close here. You can see, uh, uh, you can kind of see the spark plugs in there, fire when they should. Now a moving fan, everything's there. That's pretty good. We, we are binding a little bit, but I think it's due to this fan. If you take a look here, you got the valves pushing down when it was their time. You know, just a description. It, it, it's pretty cool. What do you think, Michael? Cool. Yeah, something you can put on your shelf or something, right? Looks nice. All right, so that's going to be it for this video. Uh, what do you think, Michael? It's cool. Cool? Yeah, did you learn anything? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty cool. It's, it's, it's exactly how an engine would, would work, right? It's, it's, it's pretty awesome. Um, I, I don't think, kid-wise, you know, you're, you're probably a good age, maybe a little bit older. Uh, you're eight, so maybe a little bit older would be uh, better. But, um, it, you know, you, you learned a little bit about engines, and, and uh, I was able to help you out. If, if it definitely needs adult assistance to help out, uh, especially with the screws. They can be a little tough uh, to get in where they need to go. But all in all, in the end, pretty cool uh, little, little engine there. Uh, pretty cool father-son project, right? Yeah. All right, so that's going to be the end of this video. If you liked the video, please go ahead and subscribe, like, uh, dislike. If you want to dislike, comment below. Tell me what you think of this uh, Smithsonian Motorworks uh, little engine we got going here. And uh, link in the description below for, for this if you want to purchase this on your own. And Average Mike merch, uh, teespring.com forward slash stores for us average mic that'll also be in the description below and uh, i guess i'll catch you guys on the next one later